In the name of the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. May the peace of the Lord Jesus, the love of God, the goodness of the Holy Spirit be with you. Good morning. And let us prepare our hearts to celebrate the sacred mysteries as we ask forgiveness for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have come to know the grace of the Lord's resurrection may, through the love of the Spirit, ourselves rise to newness of life. This we ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Our reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Saul, still breathing murderous threats against the disciples of the Lord, went to the high priest and asked him for letters to the synagogues in Damascus, that if he should find any men or women who belonged to the way, he might bring them back to Jerusalem in chains. On his journey, as he was nearing Damascus, a light from the sky suddenly flashed around him. He fell to the ground and heard a voice saying to him, Saul, Saul, why are you persecuting me? He said, who are you, sir? The reply came, I am Jesus, whom you are persecuting. Now get up and go into the city, and you will be told what you must do. The men who were traveling with him stood speechless, for they heard the voice, but could see no one. Saul got up from the ground, but when he opened his eyes, he could see nothing. So they led him by the hand and brought him to Damascus. For three days he was unable to see, and he neither ate nor drank. There was a disciple in Damascus named Ananias, and the Lord said to him in a vision, Ananias. He answered, Here I am, Lord. The Lord said to him, Get up and go to the street called Straight, and ask at the house of Judas, for a man from Tarsus named Saul. He is there praying, and in a vision he has seen a man named Ananias come and lay his hands on him, that he may regain his strength. But Ananias replied, Lord, I have heard from many sources about this man, what evil things he has done to your holy ones in Jerusalem. And here he has authority from the chief priests to imprison all who call upon your name. But the Lord said to him, Go, for this man is chosen instrument of mine to carry my name before Gentiles, kings, and children of Israel, and I will show him what he has to suffer for my name. So Ananias went and entered the house. Laying his hands on him, he said, Saul, my brother, the Lord has sent me, Jesus who appeared to you on the way by which you came, that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Immediately things like scales fell from his eyes and he regained his strength, sight. He got up and was baptized and when he had eaten, he recovered his strength. He stayed some days with the disciples in Damascus and he began began at once to proclaim Jesus in the synagogues that he is the Son of God. The word of the Lord. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. Go out to all the world and tell the good news. 
Praise the God, all you nations. Glorify him, all you peoples. Go out into the world and tell the good news. For steadfast is his kindness towards us, and the fidelity of the Lord endures forever. Go out to the world. No. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, I have life because of the Father. So also, the one who feeds on me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. These things Jesus said while teaching in the synagogue in Capernaum, the gospel of the Lord. The other day on Relevant Radio, there was a brief comment on faith and reason, and it says, Faith is greater than reason. And I thought that would be quite a conversation to listen to at some of our universities. And yet as we've been journeying in John's chapter 6, the bread of life discourse, it really shows and proves the point that faith is greater than reason. And we begin hearing how the quarreling of Jesus' statement, I am the bread of life, unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood. And so it brought great division amongst the fo- even amongst the followers of Jesus. And yet as we look at the words that Jesus used, we do not pick it up in the English translation, but as he says, eats my flesh, it is not a poetic statement, it is not something flowery, but it is a word, the word that he uses is, as an animal would gnaw on flesh. So as we are eating the body and blood of Christ, it's just not something, uh, a concept, but it is an action of what we do, like if we're eating a fine piece of meat. And so it really invites us to grow in our faith in these Easter days in this John's Gospel, Luke's chapter 6, that we may grow in faith and at times leave reason behind for we believe as Jesus spoke, those who eat my flesh and drink my blood will be with me forever and ever.
Trusting in the promise that Jesus is with us, let us pray for the needs of the church. That the Lord may enkindle in our hearts our greater devotion to Jesus in the Holy Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That world leaders may be moved by the Holy Spirit to act with mercy and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all who suffer from food insecurity may be blessed by God with the resources they need to be nourished and attain stability. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the assembly gathered here may be fortified and strengthened by the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our beloved dead may soon be welcomed into eternal life in heaven with the angels and the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, holy marriage, permanent diaconate, and single life, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public office, that they may be inspired by the Holy Spirit to serve and protect all life, from conception to natural death, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those remembered in our prayer petition thank you book, that through God's everlasting love, they will receive the help they need, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for Robert, Rob Sura, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, hear our prayers as we entrust in the name of Jesus, our Lord, our Savior, forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Almighty God, graciously sanctify these gifts and accepting the oblation of the spiritual sacrifice Make of us an eternal offering to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Up Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this Easter season, to praise you yet more gloriously. Jesus never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the hymn of your praise. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Amen. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord. You are the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time Jesus was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jerome, our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord Jesus always be with you. Amen. Let us offer each other a sign of God's peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless those called to share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word.
Let us pray. Almighty God, we have partaken of the gifts of the sacred mystery, humbly asking that what your Son Jesus commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth in his charity through Christ our Lord. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. Thou, Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell. Mary, Queen of Peace, pray for us. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Go in God's peace. Thanks, God. O Sacrament most holy.